Lung cancer is one of the most common and deadliest cancers worldwide. Today, we're going to delve into its types, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and prevention strategies, aiming to equip you with knowledge that can save lives. To start, let's discuss the two main types of lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer, which accounts for about 85% of all cases, and small cell lung cancer, which makes up the remaining 15%. Non-small cell lung cancer is further divided into subtypes, including adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and large cell carcinoma. On the other hand, small cell lung cancer tends to grow more quickly and is more aggressive. Now, let's talk about the causes of lung cancer. The primary risk factor for lung cancer is smoking, responsible for approximately 80% of cases. The harmful chemicals found in tobacco smoke damage lung cells and lead to cancer. However, Lung cancer can also occur in non-smokers. Other risk factors include exposure to radon gas, which can accumulate in buildings and homes, secondhand smoke, asbestos, and air pollution. Genetic factors and a family history of lung cancer can increase risk as well. Being aware of the symptoms of lung cancer is crucial for early detection. Common signs include a persistent cough that worsens over time, chest pain that may be worse with deep breathing, laughing, or coughing hoarseness, or coughing up blood. Other symptoms may include unexplained weight loss, fatigue, frequent respiratory infections, and shortness of breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, especially if you're at high risk, it's essential to see a healthcare professional for evaluation. For diagnosis, doctors typically start with a physical exam and medical history. Imaging tests such as chest x-rays or CT scans are usually performed next. If lung cancer is suspected, a biopsy may be necessary to confirm the diagnosis. This involves taking a small sample of lung tissue for laboratory analysis. The stage of cancer determines treatment options, which can vary greatly. When it comes to treatment, it often depends on the type and stage of cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer may be treated with surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy. For patients with small cell lung cancer, the treatment usually involves chemotherapy and radiation since the disease tends to spread quickly. Emerging therapies, such as checkpoint inhibitors, have shown promise in improving outcomes for some patients, particularly those with advanced stages of cancer. Living with lung cancer can be challenging, not only physically but also emotionally. Support from healthcare professionals, support groups, and loved ones can significantly impact a patient's well-being. Advanced care planning is essential for discussing treatment preferences and quality of life considerations. Prevention is paramount in reducing lung cancer risk. If you smoke, seeking help to quit is the most effective measure you can take. Support programs and medications are available to assist in quitting. Additionally, minimizing exposure to secondhand smoke, testing homes for radon levels, and ensuring proper ventilation in workplaces can further reduce risk. Maintaining a healthy diet, Staying physically active, and avoiding known toxins can also contribute to lung health. In conclusion, lung cancer is a serious disease with significant impacts on patients and their families. Understanding the risk factors, recognizing the symptoms, and seeking timely medical advice are key in fighting this illness. By focusing on prevention and being proactive about our lung health, we can reduce the incidence of lung cancer and its associated burdens. Thank you for watching, and remember, knowledge is power when it comes to health. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content. Stay informed and take care of your lungs.